Inside the Phillips Gallery in DC, value hangs on the wall. Millions. Senior curator Vesela Stratenovich is our guide to value. Many zeros. But what makes a painting, specifically this painting, worth millions? All the Renoirs are extremely valuable. But it depends on the medium. You have, he did a lot of pastels, he did oil. Obviously, this is a certain size, and it's in art history. Now, online, value gets posted on a page. This crypto punk sold for 67.5 Ethereum, which at that time of the sale equals to about 152,000. You heard that right. This digital image is worth thousands of dollars. And in cyberspace, Jungbin Cho of Northern Virginia is our guide to the world of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. The biggest news probably came around springtime when an artist named Beeple, he came out with his like 5,000 day collection and that sold on the auction for like $69 million. I know what you're thinking. How did something you've never heard of that lives completely online sell for as much as a Renoir? Part of what is actually attractive to investors about NFTs is that we're not really sure what they are. To find out, we went to University of Maryland Business School professor David Kirsch. I mean, we know what they are from, we can describe them technically. Kirsch explained an NFT starts as a digital file. It could be an image, a sound, or video. The creator then adds another layer of code on it, and that code then registers that file on the ledger of the internet, something called the blockchain. I can take a picture of this wall and share it with you, or I can take a picture of this wall and turn it into an NFT, and then it's a certified, singular, non-fungible, version of that picture of that wall. And the value is in the uniqueness. And that's a value Jungbin Cho started to see early in 2021 when he started trading NFTs. On the left uh, is the uh, NFT marketplace named OpenSea. OpenSea is what Cho calls the eBay of NFTs. To buy one, you convert your dollars into a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum, and then you can place a bid on OpenSea for a piece of digital art. I mean, in terms of NFTs, yeah. I own several hundred. He has all sorts of NFTs from this digital squiggle. I paid around six Ethereum for it. I think six Ethereum right now at this current price is around over like around 10,000. To this Washington Wizards image. I got the third starter that gave you, um, you know, free jersey and a free ticket to go to a home game. Did you get to pick the jersey though? Um, yeah, they gave you some options. I got the Bradley Beal jersey. Of course. <laughs> Cho sees digital art as an investment, but he also recognizes what drives NFT value is speculation. Stocks are basically the same way. It's, it's very speculative and I mean, let's say Jerome Powell comes out with a negative comment and it could just go down. Oh yeah. And that's not based on like the company's income, mm -mm. et cetera. David Kirsch down. is a little more Nothing. blunt about the future of NFTs. My honest answer, yeah. I'm going like 99% fad, 1% uh, legit business development on, on the NFTs per se. Back in the Phillips Gallery, Vesela Stratenovich took one look at an NFT valued at $200,000. That makes me extremely sad. As creative and abstract as art can be, she just doesn't see the dollar value or cultural value in NFTs. There is really no meaning to me in this. It's very shallow and decorative and mechanical. Two worlds of art, centuries apart.